Hey everyone, welcome to the video. And I wanted to make this video because this was something that was discussed between myself and some of the people who walked through the raid with me. And one of the very funny things that I discovered was I tried to go open the chest for the Eagle Bearer and it said I had four out of five keys. And so I talked to everybody. I said, hey, did I miss a key somewhere? Because I remember running this raid. I'd, I'd run the raid three times uh, all the way through Eagle Bearer that day. And then finally beat it on the third time. And I said, did I miss a key somewhere? And they were like, oh, no, the Razorback key is actually a 50% drop rate or something like that. <laughs> and I was like, what? So to even open the cache or the chest where the Eagle Bearer might drop for you is actually based on RNG. It's an RNG stacked upon an RNG. And I wanted to just put this out there because this was kind of surprising for me. I guess I didn't watch all the raid tutorials in detail and I didn't know what was going on because I really wasn't really I, I wasn't really interested in, in the raid at the time it came out. And I made the video saying, hey, I might not be able to do this raid like this was like two months ago because I understood that my time was not going to allow for me to do it. And we discussed this and we thought this was actually quite absurd. I don't know if it's and this is not just my opinion. This was the opinion of other people who had done the raid multiple times. So I'm the, I was the new guy there and I said, you know, I thought it was ridiculous. And the other guy said, oh, yeah, this is actually the most frustrating part of the raid. It's not in beating the raid. It's not in finding, you know, a group to run the raid with or getting a build or whatever. It's this one thing that kind of deters you from actually getting to where you might get the eagle bearer which is the weapon that you use for the raid so i just thought this was kind of a hmm i don't know what word that i can use that would that would sum it up for me i could use a petty word like stupid foolish pointless i just don't feel like those words are strong enough and you know <laughs> I see no reason why it's done. You know, it's it's OK. It's it's OK to actually have some kind of RNG, like a very low drop percentage for the weapon itself. But then to put another barrier that will force a player to actually come back another week later, in my opinion, just seems like it has no need being in the entire system already. The whole community already has issues with the RNG of the game and people are willing to actually bear through it. People are willing to, you know, force their way to build what they are able to get and force their way to take, you know, play the raid 30, 40 times. And, you know, some people already have a backlog of these keys anyways. And so it's probably not a problem for them by now. But for them to say it's a 50 50 chance to get the key. I have no idea where these decisions are coming from, but whoever made this decision and whoever voted for the decision, just, you know, think about the meeting where they, this actually went through. Think about, oh, well, you know what? By the time they finally slave their way through the boss, why don't we make it that the fifth key is from the boss? And somebody said, oh, yeah, you know, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. And somebody then said, you know, in order for us to actually make it much more frustrating, why don't we make the key a 50 50 percent drop rate? And that way, if somebody doesn't get it, then they have to wait till the next week in order for them to be able to get this key. And I bet you some people in that meeting were like, but why? But somehow, though, it seemed like, you know, the majority or somebody pulled some strings and made this happen. And I don't mean to be sarcastic. I don't mean to be you know, comical about the whole issue. I just don't know why it's there. I, I don't know why the developers have put it there <laughs> because I don't think it makes sense. But, you know, we still play the game or whatever. And I don't want to sound like I'm whining. But whenever you put out critique, it just, everyone says you're whining. Everybody says you're complaining. It's like you can't critique anything anymore these days. But honestly, I don't care. I'll critique whatever it is that I feel like is unnecessary because this one actually is unnecessary. There is no need for a 50-50 drop rate from key number five before somebody can open a chest that has a what is a 1%, 0.1% or 0. Point whatever percent for them to be able to get the Eagle Bearer. Uh, okay whatever my opinion is spoken and i can almost guarantee that there are a lot of people in the community that feel the exact same way all right i'll get out of your hair i just promised uh, one of our my uh buds over here that walked through the raid with me that i was going to actually bring this to light and address the issue uh because it's something i never really knew about and just you know implore the developers to change it 
I mean, that's what they can do. They can change it. Let it be a guaranteed key drop so that people can actually have a guarantee to the chest and have that guarantee of, you know, the 0.1% or 1% drop rate. Because if you add that 50-50% to the probability, you've actually skewed the RNG and lowered the possibility of anybody ever getting this so-called uh, exotic weapon. All right, that's all I have for today. Thank you very much for your time and your audience. Um, I guess I'm out. Peace.